G'day guys. Today we're going to have a look at some more of the features around the body of the new Canon Speedlight 600 EXRT. This is Canon's first flash with radio triggering. In my last video review, I showed you the flash head. Below it, we find the swivel mechanism. As you can see, it has a 360 degree swivel. It turns 180 degrees in either direction. To enable swiveling, you press the release button on the side of the flash. It will shoot straight up and angle down in increments to 7 degrees below horizontal for shooting subjects as close as 0.5 of a metre away. On the back of it you'll find the bounce angle index showing what angle you're shooting at. And also index markings as you turn the flash head. At the front of the flash you have the red panel where the autofocus assist beam comes from for when shooting in very dark conditions. This will work up to 10 meters away when your subject is directly in front of your camera. Above it you have the external metering sensor and next to it on the right the panel for the optical transmission wireless sensor. There are also a number of connections on the side of the flash unit which are weather sealed. The terminals under the covers on the side of the flash are the 3 pin external power source socket. This connection is compatible with the CP-E4 compact battery pack. The PC terminal and the bracket mounting hole with its screw thread. Under the top terminal cover you'll find the remote release terminal. It takes release cable SRN3 and is compatible with cameras that have an N3 type remote control terminal. It's important to note that the Canon Speedlight 600 EXRT does not come with any of these cables, they are sold separately. As mentioned in my last video, the recycling time of the flash can be as fast as 0.1 of a second, depending what mode you're shooting in and how much power your batteries have. As you can see, it's able to keep up with the fast shooting rate of the Canon 60D. The manual says not to shoot more than 20 shots at once without letting the flash cool down for a while. On the back of the flash, it has a larger dot matrix LCD panel than the 580 EX2. Apparently the whole LCD panel will turn red if the speed light gets too hot. It has an easy to use link indicator light, which means that if the radio connection drops out, you'll know about it and it will turn from green, which means connected, to red, which means not connected. On the side of the flash, you find the battery compartment. It takes four AA batteries, which is handy for travelers. Canon states that the flash can take normal AA alkaline batteries, nickel metal hydride rechargeable batteries and lithium batteries. Just don't mix them or use a mixture of old with new. The flash mounting foot securely attaches the speed light to your camera or stand. It is constructed of a solid metal plate. When it's attached to the top of your camera it has a very stable feel to it. To lock it in place you press the lock button and move sideways. You can see the flash contacts and locking pin move. And at the same time, when it's mounted on the camera, you'll notice the weatherproofing seal lowers over the entire mounting foot as you turn it. You can see it moving down there. The Speedlight 600 EXRT has a robust weatherproof design. Canon has advertised it to be remarkably dust and water resistant. They have improved the make of the Speedlight's head 
to be more durable. The flash itself is fairly heavy, 425 grams or 15 ounces without the batteries inside. And for a robust unit that I'm expecting to last me for years, I think that it's a great investment for any camera kit.